And you see, I don't want to talk about Chema Wuntu because mm. he's a young man right. who has just come into... No, he says if you do that and you threaten him, you'll be arrested. Oh, I, I forgive him. I thought a bold man will always say that if you challenge me again or threaten me, I'm also going to face you. But if you resort to your police, it means you are coward. Case closed. We're not going to talk about it again. Wow. <laughs> Ghana TV and I'm here. Mobi be a quabba honorable care upon a barber cassa affa. Chema won't to meet in some of the kind say so. Tretin in Bima or Betchina to Muno and our watcher say Chema won't to meet a humphor pa or a coward. So say or Betchina to Mudia or a coward. Yabaconia quacuti, no chilema chress, ministers be an incophobia or more MPP party mu or do more yaw pa. If you say, Wow, boy, Mopa, Fino who say the town for our party in one. Or Bubo, a bidding in our chesses, Uncle Forno, or she, the Bessie Fourth November, no, Nasso, so no dear, so Lusua, or near Nadjins will be free party, no better than no washer, or moodies, or more anya fair. Young court, you could see on a book in Japon, right by ever to us. It seems that you've garnered enough support and people like you as a person. You get that sense when you walk around in town. Oh, yes. Uh, what are they saying to you, Ken? Uh, you know, people are saying, Ken, if no can no vote can we are waiting for you the youth are always you know wherever i go especially right. when i get stuck in traffic oh gee it's amazing yeah you you, you seem to have this connection with the youth how, how are you able to do that you resonate so well with them you know why the youth resonate with me is mm. not for the past 20 something years that i being a politician in this country I always speak for the youth. Wow. And I feel the youth, they are the future of this country. And therefore, if we don't focus on the youth, mm. the progress of this country will be no nothing to write home about. Deep, deep, deep. So I think we have to make sure we create opportunities for the youth of this country. And that's what I stand for. And you think that uh, enough opportunities or not enough opportunities have been created for the youth of Ghana? Oh, yes. Sincerely? Yes. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Because, look, let me tell you. I have seven girls that have finished university in America. Mm. All of them, by the time they take their things from the school, coming back home, they have jobs. Right? They have a job right after school. Yes. Interesting. All of them. Even one who came to work with me and decided to go and do a master's. She got there right there about $84,000. So far, she's the lowest. The highest takes home about how much? About $156,000 a, a year. Working at uh, Google. Wow. You know, those things. And the finance. Girls are making roughly that's about thirteen thousand dollars a month. Yeah, they make interesting. It. You know, is that what you want to bring under your leadership as president course, of Ghana? Of course, I want to create job opportunities for the youth of this country. How many people do you employ now with your companies? The number of companies that you have, permanent staff mm -hmm. all over the country is seven thousand one hundred fifty-eight. Kennedy on in Japan, you employ seven thousand people. They're on your payroll. Yeah, incredible. Wow. Congratulations. Yeah. You know, you mentioned some of the companies. Yes. Those are small, small companies. I hear you have a steel company. Yeah, coming up. It's coming up. Yeah. You have the biggest cold store in Africa. Is that right? Coming up. Timelines are what? Oh, I have just slowed down because of the campaign. Mm. Whatever happens, how? The biggest cold store in Africa. And where is that? In Tema? In Tema. 31,000 tons. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Currently, mm -hmm. what I have is still the biggest, the 14,000 tons. Biggest in Ghana? Yeah. Mm. But the new one coming up is 31,000. I have 9,000 tons, 7,000 tons, 14,000 tons, and now the 31 that is coming. You are a billionaire. God has blessed you. Thank you. You go to church? 
I seldom go to church, but I believe in God. You believe in God. Where do you fellowship? Where do you have to go to church? I was born into Methodist church, but, but you know, I don't know. I seldom go. Why? Yeah, because it says, where two or three are gathered in my name, I am dead. That can be in the beer bar. It said, in my name. In my name, yes, but of course. I mean, if they are dead, so, you believe in God. Uh, uh, you believe that at the said, church? where two or three okay. mm -hmm. are gathered in my, my name, name. Yes. not in the beer bar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you believe that even when you are home and you mention the name of God, and yes, that yes. is church, so you don't have to go to yeah. church. Really? And he taught us a simple prayer, the mm -hmm. Lord's Prayer. Correct. You know, but when the opportunity comes and I have to go, I don't have a problem. You don't have a problem. I do. Let, let's stay with party politics and, and talk about the delegates. November 4 is a big day for you. Yeah. Over 200,000 delegates. Right. You're meeting all of them. You have other contestants as well. Right. What are they telling you? Do you feel that the ground is fertile? What is it that you're picking up? The race so far. You see, it's not been easy. Mm. It's tough. And you know, I am not disturbed by anything because it says that any leader who is not criticized by some of his people mm. means he's not doing something right. Interesting. Again, I like that. Any leader who is not criticized by some of his people mm. means he's not doing something right. So if you are doing something right, definitely you step on toes and people will criticize you. So with all the criticisms, I take it in good faith. And once I believe in what I'm doing, sometimes I really don't care about your criticism. So you believe that November 4, you'll be victorious. You're yeah. number one on the ballot. Yeah, why not? And that alone, number one on the ballot should tell you. What does it signify? Well, it tells you that I'm still going to be number one in November 4th. If you, if you don't turn out to be number one, free and fair, will you no. still be, yeah, yeah. concede and, and congratulate? Why not? Mm. I'm a party man. If, if, if it doesn't happen that way and yeah, you feel that... why not? You see, when you're going into election, right. you should know that it's 50-50. Correct. You can win, you can lose. So why would you leave the party if you lose? I will only say otherwise when there is no fairness. Mm. When there is no fairness, you leave? I will, I will leave, but maybe I will just keep quiet and wow. watch what they do. What do you make of Alan Chermantin's exit? Anybody who tells you that Alan Chermantin's exit will not pose a challenge to MPP, then the person is not a good politician. Really? Of course, yes. There are many who are saying that, well, he can, he can go. I mean, well, you can, MPP, the you party see, is stronger you than... See, you see, you can call his bluff, mm -hmm. but the D-Day, you see what will happen. What would they see? Yeah. Look, <laughs> in Ashanti region, mm -hmm. in Ashanti region, they are just deceiving themselves. Look, when you when they see Baumia here, Mahama here, Alan here, Alan will sweep the votes. Really? Yes. Are we not playing tribal politics, Ken? How are they playing tribal politics? Because Bahama is from the north, Baumia is from the north. They say that Ashanti region, if they see Alan, then all true and true. Yeah, I'm telling you. This afternoon, mm -hmm. I told one guy, oh, he said, oh, no, they'll vote for MPP. They are joking. And let me tell you, Alan's personality, besides Ashanti, people love him right. the way he is. Okay? And with all due respect to Osopu Chirabosum, Osopu Chirabosum was not a politician. We didn't know him and anything. He came mm -hmm. and got 3%. Mm -hmm. How can you say that Alan will not get 10, 15%? Alan will get that? Oh, of course, yes. Many, many political pundits. And they, they, they don't, they don't, they don't get it. It's different from what you see on the ground yeah, as a because company. I'm a grassroots man. Mm. I'm a grassroots man. So you believe that Alan going independent can actually It's a big them. problem to us, yes. I'm telling you, I will speak the truth and nothing else. Anybody who says that Alan is not relevant in MPP, so he should go, means he doesn't like the party. He doesn't. And for him to go independent, mm. you see him, you see, let me tell you something. When I was young, uh, I 
was chasing a girl mm. who was in Legum doing her masters. Let me tell you a true story. I was staying at uh, Medina, Red Coat Flats. I picked a girl and I'm MPP. Okay. And she said she was going to vote for Rollins. So I asked, why are you going to vote for Rollins? And she said, the man is handsome. Simple. Her reason for mm. going to vote for Rollins is that he's handsome. So in politics, looks play a major role. I'm telling you. And Alan has that personality. Mm. And he's loved by people who doesn't like Kenny Japan style. Kenny Japan is too whatever. Alan is calm. I'm too mm. candid and sincere. But that's the truth. Oh, but that's the truth. Mm. You see, so Alan can sweep those who want. But Vice, Vice President Baumia is also handsome. Yeah, uh, Vice President, very handsome, mm. nice. But this time, it's not his time because unfortunately for him, he's been part of the government that Ghanaians are annoying with. But you are part of it too. You are part I'm of it. I'm not, I have not been to cabinet before. Yesterday when they went there, was I there? Whatever decisions they take, am I consulted? I am not. Are you, are you dissociating yourself from the I am MPP? not. I am not disassociating yeah. myself. I'm still an MPP and a proud MPP. But the government, President Kufu. Yeah, but the government have challenges. Mm -hmm. They want a new face. And a new face, when you look at my policies, mm. I think you should allow me to talk about those we'll, things. We'll, we'll get into that. For Ghanaians to, to know. know. We're, we're looking at Alan's exit and you've articulated it very well. That no, yes, no, no, it's going no, no. to exit Anybody who underestimates his exit is not a People like politician. Chairman Moon to me have come out and said the party oh. is strong and well, let's see how it goes if they don't talk to him. And you see, I don't want to talk about Chairman Wun to me because mm. he's a young man right. who has just come into... No, he says if you do that and you threaten him, you'll be arrested. Oh, I, I forgive him. I thought a bold man will always say that if you challenge me again or mm. threaten me, I'm also going to face you. But if you resort to your police, it means you are a coward. Case closed. We're not going to talk about it again. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because I would never call the police. I will come face to face and give you a showdown. But that's violence. That's not violence. No, I mean, the, if mm -hmm. if you are saying that, oh, can I Japan, this, 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 I'm going to do this. Right. I will not call the police. I'll come and face you for you to see that I'm a man. But look, let's forget about him. Exactly what, what I, I, I want us to do. And, and, and with many that are coming through, you believe that November 4, you will stand at all? Yeah, why not? I'm a grassroots man. Why do you think the delegates will vote for you over 200,000? This, it, it, it falls in line with your vision. You see, your the plan. delegates mm -hmm. will vote for me because I am the only one in the history of this country, MPP party, the only flag bearer candidate that has gone down to the polling station executives to ask them or plead with them to vote for him. Nobody has given the polling station executive respect. And now because of me, I'm a pace setter. Now everybody is going to see them. You started it? Yes. Oh. I went to constituency by constituency asking for their votes giving them respect giving them recognition i'm the one who has given the polling station executives or the delegates recognition that they also matter that their votes count mm. that their voice also count so that alone is a plus and before that you see mine is not fake because right from inception i've always been fighting for the delegates. I mean, the hard work that they put up, and in the long run, they ignore them. They don't get anything. When they want anything, they have to go through, mm. you know, layers of whatever they call it. And but you are with them. Yeah. What, what, what is them. your target, Ken, out of the 200,000 votes? You, you think that you're going to amass what? You know, 200,000 votes, mm. your minimum should be 120. And you will get that? Yeah. If it's free and fair. If it's free and it's fair, fair. Yeah. The ground shows and proves yeah. that you will get that. Yeah. If it's free and fair. Because the only man who gives hope 
or symbolizes hope mm. is Kaneja Pong. When you look up to me or you wake up, you wake up to hope. Wow. Now, when Kaneja Pong comes, there is hope for the youth of this country. Because, look, my brother, mm. paying workers, now even uh, you have about about 50, 60 people again following me and I have to pay them. Mm. You know, paying workers every month. By the time you blink your eye, the next month is there. Mm. And as an ordinary MP and a businessman, I'm creating all these job opportunities. Then what about if I become the president? Let me tell you the difference. In the business world, when a sitting president, okay, Mm. goes out there with a member of parliament to lobby for jobs. The business world, their confidence will be in the president and not the member of parliament. So if, by that analogy, if Kaneja Pong, as an ordinary member of parliament, has been able to pull through, then how much more if he's given the mantle as the president? And that's your message to the delegate? Yeah, case closed. That you have, you have a lot of the MPs towing the line of the vice president. They, they, are, are you worried? Because you have friends in there. Are you disappointed? Yeah, I am. You are? Yeah. Especially mm -hmm. those who are no ministers that have helped. Well, you've helped a lot of them? Yeah. Let me tell you. Uh, my wife keeps telling me, try and control the rage. Mm. I'm very, very bitter. Very, very bitter. If I had not contested, I wouldn't have known my enemies. Mm. So now yes. you know them. Oh, yes. These MPs, the help that I've given them, and some of them, they come and their excuse is, oh, if I support you, and it's true, one MP declared for me that he's going to support me. They threaten him that, look, your market at Akimoda, they are not going to do it. Is that an Akimoda MP? Yes. Wow. I'm not afraid. I'll tell you. That is how bad the situation is. They have threatened a lot of... They are of, threatening MPs? A lot of MPs. That if you don't follow one person, they are going to bring somebody to contest you. And all of them are afraid. But I'm not. When you tell them last week, one of them that have helped... You know, I will never forgive him. Who is but that? I'm waiting. I won't tell you. Mm. But after November 4th, you will see what will happen. Why? What you see, that? if you're not even going to vote for you have a choice. Mm -hmm. You have a choice. I don't have a problem. But the people, his constituency knows that I went there to campaign for him. And this man picks a phone and calls delegates and says, oh, don't vote for Kenny Japan. Vote for the number two on the ballot. Then one of them asks him, Why? And so, can I Japan the the new Mukasa And you've helped this guy. Ah, me say I campaign for him. Baby, any? I'm not afraid of him. Baby, any? Yes. Oh, so I know the MP afraid of him. Yes. One a.m. I left his place. One a.m. for this man to tell me say me new Mukasa I can never forgive that guy. You should find a place in your heart. Uh, that's what my wife is saying. But it's so it hurts when they sack him from post. He was always in my house till about one a.m. Consoling him, even American because we are depression. And this man, unto Mamiya, no problem. But for you to go and tell your delegates, I'm making a Japan, I'll leave him to God. I don't have a problem. And that's but your friend. I, I want to assure every MP, whether president or no president, I'll live and live good. I'll live in good style. Wow. And good style. You drive a Rolls Royce. I will buy another one on my birthday. <laughs> I'm going to buy another one on my birthday. You want to buy a private jet oh, someday? Don't worry. Now, mm -hmm. I've established enough businesses. Right. You know, it was a young girl who advised me. I have all the pictures. I actually deposited one million to buy a jet. To buy the jet. Oh. One day, a lady came from US. No, no, Dubai. Real estate. She was into real estate. She went with me and inspected some of the lands that I have. And she said, ah, Honorable, I'm, I'm a young girl, but I hear you want to buy a plane and all those things. With these lands that you have, why don't you use the money to develop it? In fact, I felt so bad that this young girl gave me smart 
advice, you know. And I took her advice, right. irrespective of her age. But now I think after the steel plant, well, I have a paint. Uh, is also you have coming a paint up, company as well. Coming up. Wow. When I'm done with that, you get a jet. I will get my jet. And, and you are into real estate as well. Yeah. I hear you have loads of uh, houses in East Ligon. Over a hundred. Yeah. Is that true? Somebody just told no, me this no, afternoon. Oh, oh. oh? It's not up to hundred in East Ligon. Okay. Uh, other places put together is two around fifty-seven. Two hundred and fifty-seven houses. Yes. Not just lands. These are houses. Yeah, these are houses. Lands. I have it everywhere. Wow. So, I and sometimes I forgive my colleagues and mm. peace because, you know, maybe it's their last hope. Okay? So, if they don't tow the line, if they don't tow the line, mm. they will think, uh, or they, they will not get any opportunity again. So, I forgive them. But those who insult me, like Henry Corte, he goes out there and insult me. Look at your crazy, uh, your violent friend. What? A good friend? But he's a, yes, a good friend. Yes. yes. No, you see, I'm bitter. Calm I don't down. Yeah, calm I'm down. trying yeah. to because Charlie, yes, calm down. what these MPs have done, a lot of them. And have helped him before. Oh, my brother, Henry Corte. That, what? That's the greater crowd. Yeah, the, the but look, yeah, I don't want to stress on that. Wow. I want to give you policies in it. But I'm telling you how, you know, wow. ungratefulness is very, very hurting. Calm down, honorable. Ungratefulness. Wow. I look at the MPs. I say, Ish. some of them, I fought for them to get a ministerial appointment. Today, let me take opportunity to challenge one to me to come out if I'm lying. Because my witness is Edward Boateng. Mm. With the exception of Asenso, Every minister in Ashanti region, you the list to. was done in my house. Are you telling us yes. that for real? Yes. The list was done in your house. Yes. Every minister. Yes, apart from Asensu. Matthew Poko Prempe. Yes. You had your hand in Yes. Hand. Yes. Really? Education yes. minister. Education minister. Yes. The list was done in your house. Yes. Yes. How yes. wouldn't you miss they call him? This is not an insult. It's the truth. Yes. Now you ask him the question. Why is it that won't me? brought the Ashanti list from Kumasi to my house at Moving Peak. And my witness is Edward Boateng. Three of us. I said, no, put this one here. Put this one here. And I went first to tell the president, these are, you know, then... Yeah, you should consider. And yeah, you push them. Yeah. Then wouldn't me also went there. What you see? A lot of them. Matthew Poku Prempe, he knows. Because mm. uh, one minister called him and said, ah, and then I came to us him, sir. I said, why? I said, ah, we went to president two positions, the mm. way he fought for you. And he himself is a minister. Are you, you worried understand? that he's supporting vice president? I don't have a problem. You mm. see, I don't have a problem if Napo is supporting no it. The way he relates to me. It's fine. I, it's fine. That's so right. I don't have a, don't problem. have a problem. Napo has not gone anywhere to he's insult me. Okay. He measured himself. Mm. Abu is another fantastic guy. I did not fight That's for him. Abu Jinapo. Yeah, I did okay. not fight for him to be a minister. No. Okay. But he's a great gentleman. Yes. The way he comports himself. Every look, the Northern MPs, they mm -hmm. play, they play tribal. Anytime they get to Savannah, Abu will tell you. And I get all the feedbacks. Ooh. I get all the so feedbacks. So you single out uh, 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 Minister for Lands and Natural, I mean Abu Jinapo. Yeah. And, and say that he's a great guy. Yes. Mm. Yes. Napo, great guy. Great guy. Who do you say? Who are the not so great guys? I don't care about them. You know, don't let us deviate. <laughs> from I'm, not, I'm not deviating. I'm just not, asking you. Yes. But, I but am, you are bitter. I want I'm you to come. Very, out. very bitter. Honorable, come The down. way they have treated me, mm. these MPs. Wow. Vice President Baumia got over 60% vote in the Super Delegate Conference. Right. How will you be able to beat this? Right. That's 965. Correct. Compared to two, 208,000 mm -hmm. delegates. Mm -hmm. And are you saying that the 965, they are final? Then why did they extend it to 200 if they are the final decision makers? No. Mm. So it doesn't reflect anything. There will be a showdown. Yeah. Some say you are the Donald Trump of the presidential race for election 2024. I, I disagree. You disagree? I disagree because I've been in politics for over 23 years. So, 
Donald Trump built his business, he just went, went into po politics. Okay. But I built the business and the politics together, mm. you know, so there's difference. We have lots of messages at this time that we want to get onto social media on Facebook and, and, and read some of your, you know, uh, uh, the questions for you. Because earlier we asked people to send in questions for Honorable Kennedy in Japan. And it's amazing the lots of questions that, you know, we have here just for you. You are loved, we must say, and the youth are really, you know, with you. But somebody wants to uh, ask you this, and that's come from Mamisi, listening to us in Cape Coast. It says, um, has he ever suffered a heartbreak from a woman? Ah, yes. why not? Oh, you have? Ah, yes. Ah. I <laughs> have broke my heart. I have no bar. Make me a cosecle. Oh, really? Oh, you, yes. You lose why? your bearings. Yeah, why? Am I not a human being? Which, which, your first heartbreak will be when? Uh, you remember uh, which year? Uh, that, was, said, yeah. that was 1992 when the Dubai lost the election. <laughs> <laughs> but from, from a woman? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. What happened? Okay. I said, I got broke. Now, I'm a show man, Kakra. You know, that time I got broke and the woman left. Oh, you financed that campaign of a new man? Of course. How much money did you put in that? <laughs> Personally, I gave him $300,000. 300000 Then, myself and Mr. Opombiu, we used our company to took a loan yeah. of $3 million. Wow! Yeah. In 1992? Yeah. You were only 32 years? Yeah. So you went broke after that. You see, that is how you have to respect me. Mm. Those who underestimate me, it is not very easy for a young man of that age mm. to have one million dollars and 31 years down the line, he has consistently been a millionaire and even multiply, multiply it hundred folds. Right. It is not easy. So if you sit there and you think you have PhD, and therefore, you are underestimating Kennedy Japan because he didn't go to invest. It. Then you are making a big mistake. Yeah. So to manage hundred million, uh, one million, and into now hundred million into hundred one fifty million dollars. So now you are worth rest. over one fifty million dollars. Oh, more than that, three hundred million dollars. I won't tell you. you but you said more than one fifty million dollars. Yeah, more than that. Why not? We're, we're on your heartbreak. So this woman, what happened after I do? Well, you went broke. Ah, uh, broke. I got yeah. broke. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, look, I went through hello because, uh, no, she's still pretty. Oh, she's still pretty. She's yeah. still around. Oh, yes. What, what, what did she say to you? She didn't like you. You didn't have the money. So they say I got broke. Ah, and ah. she wanted the money. Yeah. But it's the love first. If she loved you, she should. Some women don't think like that. Mm. But maybe she's made a mistake when she hears me and they, all those things, you know. So when you become president and she comes back, you take her back? As what? A friend, a friend, a good friend. No, my wife, I don't know. No, no, no. As a good friend, oh, why? We, we still have good day. We, when we meet, we chat, we do everything. No. Do you still miss that? You wish that she, she had been your girlfriend? No, every misfortune is a blessing, blessing in disguise. Mm. You see, maybe if she had not left me, mm -hmm. my progress would not have been this. Why? Right. So you never know. Interesting. You remember your first kiss? Oh, look, let's stick to <laughs> issues. No, we'll get to the issues. Uh, but also okay. on the lighter side, somebody, first, wants, somebody wants, wants to know. Somebody wants to know from you, your first kiss. You remember that? No, I don't. You well, don't? I think I was around 2021. 2021? Yeah. Interesting. And uh, your first wife is uh, Madame, she runs the Netu Media Operations. No, or she's not. She's not. Ken Kenneth's mother is. Ah. She okay. is second. Oh, she's second. The yeah. one who runs net too. Yeah. Interesting. And with all your children, anyone taking after you? In terms of you know, business? Business-wise. Of late, Ken is not doing bad. Why, but before he was doing? Oh, sir, youthful exuberance. When I was advising her, he didn't take it. Mm. One day he came to me and said, I want to talk to you, daddy. So right. okay. He sat down and he said, you know, I want to apologize. I said, why? So, you know, if I had listened to your advice, mm. I would have gone far in life. And I said, no, it's not true. If you had listened to my advice, you would have thought that you were missing something out there. Now that you've gone through it and you see that you are not missing anything, mm. it's a lesson to you. 
So now that you've realized your mistake, go on. That is deep. And he's made you proud now. Last December, uh, I was at one of his programs, Afro Chella, and you came on stage. The yeah. youth and that massive support for you. Did you feel proud as a father that your son is a curator and founder of Afro Chella? Oh, yeah, why not? And what did you tell him on that night? Were, yes. And they were in South Africa about four or five days. Five days ago. Did marvelously well. And so yesterday, well. the president of Botswana invited him to come. They're going to negotiate with him to, you know. You see, but last year, the Afro, Afro Chella, mm -hmm. you know, the hell they went through. You remember, he posted something that he was not going to do it in mm -hmm. Ghana again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And on natural Ghana for a Subai. Well, he didn't get the support from yeah, the frustration. Omo build bots. They oh, just wow. go and destroy Ooh. their build bots. Who? They don't know. They are just they are our own enemies, right? Yes. And meanwhile, South Africa mm. paid this boy one point five million dollars. To bring Afrochella to South Africa? Yes. Wow. Is he getting support from the government, Ministry of Tourism and all of that? In Ghana, yes. yes. In Ghana. No. Now, who, who minister so or the uh, funra any a uh, so bulu? Oh, but then uh, what no, that's to tourism? No, that's to attract tourism. Oh, massa, massa, please stop that. Yeah, you don't, we you don't, don't go with that. We don't need myopic thinkers. So the minister, the of way Ghana is, about, is yes. the way Ghana is. We need men with big brains. Minister of tourism says when you have the funeral, they'll bring please, your bus. He's a myopic thinker. Ah. How can you tell us who the funeral and a bus is in a yeah, corner? They will say so, Buru. And people were clapping. I said, Jesus Christ, what a country we live in. My tourism ideas, you have no idea. Share them with us. We want you to tell us. It, but tourism, let, me, let me tell you. Let's take it sector by sector. Ghana. Yes. These young men and women that have gathered here, mm. some of them don't even know that Ghana is the center of the world. Ghana mm. is the center of the world. That's right. The latitude all degrees and longitude all mm. degrees is in Tema. Correct. Very dear. Mm. And we are not making noise. That's cheap. We are not making noise. We are not marketing Ghana, the center of the world. We could, we could have built a hotel in the sea. Like Bouj al in Dubai. That's right. Center of the world hotel. Okay? My design here that I want to put on paper. First, the first five floors will be the shape of African continent. The second five floors will be the shape of Asia. The third five floors will be the shape of Europe. The fourth five floors will be the shape of South America. The fifth five floors will be the shape of America and uh, North America. The sixth, the fifth six floors. Uh, six floors will be Australia. Yeah. Mm. So imagine the ship. And when you become president, you do this. Oh, yes. In yeah, dare me. And I'm going to do it. I like people daring me. I'm daring you. And you if see. If you get the mandate, yeah, you do that. You see what I'm going to do. Wow. Look, a black man is capable. That is what I want to inculcate. So into. that's one for tourism. Second one for tourism. What will you do? I heard you talking about putting, you know, speed boats and uh, ferries. Me, yes. Let me tell you. Even the water lake. Mm -hmm. You go there and no activities. There's a dirty princess. Oh, please. Give me a break. Give me a break. Asa, the way the world is moving, don't mention dirty princess to me. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay. I'm asking. 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 i to and, Jersey and you go yeah, to Pleasure Beach. You see, you see what you have. You go yeah, out there to Brighton Beach. New York. New York. Yeah, you know, 42nd Street. Exactly. What, that, look, that's so we know it, but why are we not doing it? That's the question. Mm -hmm. Now, you are not doing if you put somebody like this minister there. What do you expect? Oh, bro, this so balloon of a let, let, let's leave the uh, minister and then yeah. we, we, we have some questions for you on, on X and on, also on Facebook. This one says, my question is I will personally vote for him, but I want to know his plans for the Volta region because the region ah, is NDC. 
and they and are let me tell you don't don't group. even okay. land mm -hmm. this morning okay i met votarians and told them i'll be frank with you the nature of the land over there mm -hmm. rollins Sukra has done a disservice to his own really? age, i swear to god hey when I, you see let's leave politics and the polarization and the way we indoctrinate people against, uh, you know, on a way a Beni, and a way a Srimuni, and a way a Santi. Please, if we don't stop that, we cannot develop this country. Thank you. Way NDC, way MPP. Look, NDC be a vision. A chain MPP. MPP be a vision. A chain NDC. So we should bring them together. Promote NDC business. Promote mm. Mm. MPP mm. business. We are all one Ghana. country. Yeah. Ghana. That's the only way we can move. Look, Volta region. Mm -hmm. This one, and I told them from Ho to Adaglu, Adaglu, Adidomi, mm -hmm. then Sogakope. I need 12,500 acres of land okay. for ethanol. Wow. And if you remember, two weeks ago, the G20 in India, they are promoting ethanol. Yeah. And the easiest way of getting this ethanol is maize. Maize is cheaper than the cassava one the, in terms mm. of the process. Mm. And 12,500 acres will give you 200,000 liters a day. A day? Ethanol. Yes. And for maize? Yes. And water region? Yes. Is better off for that? Oh, yes. My brother. Wow. You see, northern region, mm. when you compare it to water region, a comparative advantage water stands tall tall okay because of the nature of the land, land. nothing region problem i saw they say on say share no trees you know a womb mm -hmm. and share no tree is also very very important mm. so you cannot cut them all right so we, we, we move on uh, lots of questions yes uh, this one is from uh, akan and akan says that ghana currently gets five percent from its uh gold about 15 percent from oil will president ken and japan renegotiate these contracts so ghana gets at least 51 percent you see getting 51 percent is tough but at mm. least i know kenya they get 40 percent from the minerals the right okay we have to negotiate well the word i don't want to hear mm -hmm is carried interest i don't want to hear that if i go into partnership with you mm. and as a country you even if we make a mistake and say 10 percent if you are mining and you get 100 bars i know 10 percent is 10 so give me my 10 percent bars gold bars let me put it at bank of ghana to show up my reserves yeah Case close. Take whatever you want. I don't want to hear carried interest when the business grow. Your 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 interest becomes so no practical. Interesting. No. We're moving on still to the questions. This one is from Sarah. And uh, well, before Sarah is on, Hafiz says, "Please ask Honorable Kenny Japan why does he always want to reveal his friends' secrets whenever he falls out with them? That is bad. Who, who, then, well, that's from Hafiz. Whom did I?" Reveal his secret. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he has to tell me. Okay, so well, he didn't mention names. When he mean? goes there mm -hmm. to say that, if he has a secret with you, mm -hmm. if indeed what he said, I'm arguing. Mm -hmm. If he has a secret with you, and he knows he has a secret with you, why then will he turn around to go and insult you and think that you you have to keep the secret? Right. Mm -hmm. That's why you also come out. Yeah, I'll come out and let the people know who you are. So if they don't attack you, you don't I, don't. I know mm -hmm. a lot, but I don't say anything. Oh. But when we attack, then I open the book. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ask him, any plans for constitutional reform? Yes. Like measures to tackle corruption in the past? That, government and his government. That, that alone, you, you don't need constitutional mm. reforms to tackle corruption. How will you do that? Corruption? Mm. Patriotism, honesty, and discipline. I'll use the discipline and honesty to tackle corruption. You see, in this country, Bolare here has mm. been given opportunity to be CEO mm. to run this place. Right. My ultimate aim of setting up this business for you mm. is to maximize profit. Perfect. Correct. But to maximize profit, the first five years, I want to break even mm -hmm. to stay in business. Mm. Then after that, I want a... Mm -hmm. 
about it. Oba ye jumei twenty years. Still, no money is coming to me. When I fire you, mm -hmm. then they go and bring a pastor, a judge, a judge, mm. a pol politician, a chief mm. to come and beg. You don't have none of that. No, hell no. When you are fired, you are fired. Mm. Case closed. Elsewhere, systems are working because there is no chief to beg. Mm. There is no pastor to beg. There is no priest. There is no politician to call and threaten. Even your own business, mm. a private business, if somebody does something wrong, then you fire him. Then a politician will call you and threaten you. Can you have none of that. Can you do that in America? Mm. No. So, so when we have this kind of discipline and the barriers that we create, that look, we are not going to tolerate that. Anybody who makes a mistake, you'll be punished. Right. That is the only way we can stop corruption. So that's why we and, have uh, offices again, like the special prosecutor. We have, you know, other. Again, mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what? No, tell me. <laughs> if indeed mm -hmm. the police, mm -hmm. CID, and the rest will do their work well, mm. with all due respect, you don't even need special prosecutor. Okay. If the judges will also do their work well, you don't even need a special prosecutor. So you mean to say that they're not doing their job well? No, I wouldn't say that. You know, it's the president's choice to create the special the prosecutor's, prosecutor's office. office. Mm. I don't have a problem. But I'm telling you that. The very day they give opportunity to Kenya Japan to swear in as president, every Ghanaian will, his mind will go anti-clockwise, <laughs> will change it. Because you are here talking about Pogigami, Pogigami. The population of Rwanda, Rwanda is 13 million. And 13 million now is all over the world. Mm. Why can't 32 million do the same? And yeah, it's they have a national career. Rwanda uh, is doing very well. Yeah, and it's all discipline. Mm. If you are disciplined, you'll be able to check corruption. As simple as that. Okay, so this one is coming from Sarah. Sarah says, is he going to prosecute MPP corrupt MPs and ministers and also public sector officers? You see, whoever makes a mistake or embezzle funds at the expense of the country, mm. irrespective of of your party position, you'll be punished. Case okay, close. Interested. Ghana first. The educational system, and uh, this one says, are you going to ensure equal opportunities for all students regardless of their socio-economic background? That's a very tough question. You know, I know mm. where he's coming from. Right. You know, to be honest with you, what President Akufuado has done, coming from that poor background, I think he's done marvelously well. But the question, what he's seeking to know is that even Kenya Japan's children, would they enjoy free yes, SHS? Yes, right. Which I think uh, is... What is your answer to that? Yeah, my answer to that is I will make sure those who can afford pay. Mm. Those so who so it means that you're going to review it? Yeah, I can review it. But to be honest with you, going to because look, let me give you one example. In America, those who go to private high schools, they seldom get scholarships to go to top universities. Because they know you can afford. That's why you went to private school. Mm -hmm. So if you go to private school and you score high crowd, they will give it to those who went to public school. They think the public school, their parents don't have enough. And therefore, they will do that. Wow. They will give them scholarships to go. So, America, even the free SHS or free education, free education. is not a blanket check. Okay. What I think President Akufuado has done very well with this is the free SHS. But the problem is, some parents, mm. even admission fee, uh, exams fee, Government is paying. How? Uniform. Uniform. You abolish that. Government is paying. Mm. But the problem I have is Kudus, why is he? My driver was here. He just stepped out. Mm. His daughter got eight once and went to he got she got admission to one of the top high schools. And they said free SHS. The list they gave him, the father. 
I had to give 10,000. So yeah, wow. Yeah, how do you call that free? Yes, it is. Mm. And do you blame President Kufuado for So that? people are still paying, regardless. Yeah. yeah. They buy the things. This, yeah. If they sell toilet roll, mm. instead of one pack, yeah, he's here. Ask 10, him. 10,000 Ghana cities. Ask him, he's here. Wow. You see? First, now, come to school, but now they say, yeah, yeah, reformed man. Yeah. Yes, yes, don't. No doubt. don't I, I want to know, and for me, yeah. your first hundred days, what yeah. policies would you put in place? To conscientize Ghanaians and change the mindset of Ghanaians. We need to change the mindset of Ghanaians mm. and inculcate this into them patriotism, honesty, and discipline. Patriotism is just like the Bible. Uh, love your neighbor as yourself. If you are patriotic, you are not going to embezzle state funds. If you are patriotic, you will not destroy government property. Mm. You know, those things. So we have to inculcate that into Guineans. Because, look, when you go to America and you see Guineans with American passport, they are so proud to be Americans. Europe, UK, they are so proud to be British. But Guineans are not proud of their own country. Because they, are, they have no jobs and all those things. So we need first to conscientize Guineans to change their mindset mm. and inculcate this patriotism, honesty, and discipline into them. Example of discipline, America said, we are going to mm. allow national service students to go to military, military for six okay. months. And that you will ensure that yes. happens. Yes. We're, we're coming down. It's still on the message. This one says, Bola, thanks so much for bringing Honorable Kennedy Japan into your studios. Today, as a lawyer, I've actually, you know, been able to understand his policies for Ghana. God bless him. And that's from uh, um, Eja uh, coming to you. And he says, congratulations to you. We want to just get also into the lighter side of Kennedy Japan as we, you know, unwind and get to know you better. How, how do you relax? What do you do? In that time that you want to take it easy, what do you do? I don't even know. You don't even know what to do to relax? No. You don't relax? No, I'm only thinking about money <laughs> and how to create jobs. I, 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 I watched an interview with yours where he says, well, you, you wake up and two things on your mind. Fight and money. Is that still in there? Fight no, or no, now you're now, old? Now I'm too old to fight. <laughs> <laughs> so but that's for the money. It still lingers on. But you have a lot of money. You are worth over $150 million. Oh, okay. What no, a game do you know? When uh, Forbes mm -hmm. giving you billionaires and all those things, right. you sit here and 150 50 million, million. No. you are priding yourself. Mm. 150 million is nothing. Right, right. I worked more than that. That one, you're worth yeah. yeah, of course. You now, supported we, President Ekufadu's campaign as well in 2016 with money? Yeah, why not? Just like you did with uh, for Professor Dubois. Yeah. He's a good friend. Okay. Uh, you know, he likes me and I like him. <laughs> Sometimes I have to be straight. So when, when was the last time you, you met President Kofuad? Uh, two weeks or so. What did he say? Three. What did he say to you? What did he say to oh, you? How can I discuss? Uh, <laughs> oh no! Uh, I mean, would, it's just some fraternal uh, word. What with, with President, and I'll come and sit here. <laughs> oh no! But he said that oh, the showdown comments because many said you were you know hold before the disciplinary committee and all no, of that. He's, he's mm -hmm. a fine man. You see, he really understands politics. He's okay. a Democrat because. Okay. Uh, maybe initially he didn't take it lightly, but he realized showdown is harmless, uh, you know, statement and right. you know those things. So he didn't take it in here. Yeah. No, he's he's still a nice guy. Still a nice guy. Yeah, yeah. All right. So you don't have time to relax. You just think about money. Honestly, you know, I go to sleep first three four hours deep. Mm -hmm. After that, things will be going into my mind. You know this amount of money I need to do this and it's not easy to come by wow. that money especially in our economy mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. it's not easy to come by that so I'll be thinking 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 and sometimes I don't know how my wife has studied me and observed it she can look at my face and say ah, what are you thinking about because your mind is not here yeah. and truly truly I'll be thinking about something I just I'm always thinking about how money. to create not money, well, the money, but to create mm. opportunities for the youth. Wow. That is my sole aim in life. You see, making money and not helping people mm. uh, is baseless. I, I don't think I get satisfaction in that. Mm. 
my satisfaction, to be honest with you, first, my happiest moment is when I'm on a dining table with all my girls, my daughters. So how many daughters, how many sons? 16. 16 girls. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah. And, and that, that gives you that happiness. Yes. You find joy in yes. that. When yeah. last did you do that? I saw then, you in Dubai with many of them during your 60th birthday. Yeah. Wow. And my second happiness mm. is when I wake up in the morning, I go around, visit my companies, and I see Ghanaians that are put to work. Mm. And then I reflect soberly where I'm coming from and where I've got into and where I want to go. Then I feel satisfied. Son that. of a syndrome. Yes, that poor soul. Wow. Now you go there, you see everybody working for me. God has blessed you. It gives me satisfaction. And I want to do more. Any favorite music? Let's talk about our music scene as well. Any favorite musician? Anybody that you love to listen see, to over see, and over again? I have a lot of friends. Right. Who are musicians? And, and, yes, who are musicians. So Your top, your top five will be what? No, if I, I, I won't mention their names. Right. Because the other day, I made a mistake and left one of them. So, oh, honorable. She, forgive me. I met one of them this afternoon <laughs> anyway, but I want to see if I'm, I put you on the spot. Yes, just five names. <laughs> because they, they know you love Afrobeats, you love so, hip life. I made a mistake life. just about two weeks ago. Okay. I was mentioning the names and left one. Is that Ilumba one of them? He called me. Is that Ilumba yeah. one? He's the old friend, you know. Okay. Amachi Dede, you love his music? Yes, I love Amachi Dede. Kojenki? Yeah. Medical? Oh, only a new ones. That's right. Yeah, these three guys, the old, they, you know. Okay, you enjoy the music? Ah, I know the work on Nova. Yes. I know the work on Nova. You love Kojenki? Oh, yes. And Amachi Dede. Amachi Dede. Which of his songs, Amachi? And Lumba. Which of Amachi's song? Oh, are you putting this, this is Star Chat. You know, we want to know the other side of you. Look, uh, that, presidential material can enjoy for you. Amachi, they which song? I don't want to offend you. Because, no, you just sang that of, you know. I'm, uh, no, 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 <laughs> These are beautiful girls and handsome guys. How does it feel to have over five wives? I don't have five wives. Five, yeah, five women in your life that you have over five yeah, women. I don't advise anybody. Mm. You see, so long as you have a child with them, yeah, you are always indebted to the woman. Ooh. And every month, the salary of these kids, mm. you have no idea. Wow. And everybody has a home. You have to take care of that house. Oh, you're giving them houses or what? Every child of mine yeah. has a house. Yeah. Mm. You know, those things. And Because if you don't do that, mm. one day if you die, one woman can collect everything and leave other kids. Will you do a will or put it in trust? Or how are you doing that? I don't believe in trust. You don't? Yeah, because I have one experience with Mr. Tano. The golf. Yes. yes. Yeah. The, his children came to me in New Jersey and complained about uh, you know. So I don't want. I don't want to go into details, mm. but I don't believe it. The trust is, Madam Nibeli, if you we need ya, sika we need you many case close. Ewa kola ni dini mwa. Oso ya missus, you can't go there and mm, take, take it. it. Yes, that's it. But I leave uh, uh, some of them for them to fight to see their foolishness when I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, so you've left some for oh, them to fight. But that's not fair. You know what? The one mm -hmm. they will fight over is the that is the one protecting me. Oh. That one is not in any woman's <laughs> name or any child's name. So if you leave me, at least I have this one to chop Chow. from. <laughs> I'll be seven years smart. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Ever had the situation where you had all the children and all the women in one space and mm -hmm. celebrating life? No. Why? They don't know each other? They, they are not friends? No, no, no. Oh, they are not friends? Uh, one of them, very tolerant, you know, she allows the rest to bring their kids. <laughs> you know. But listen, yes. you have to give that space. Let mm. every woman have respect. Okay. You don't have to disrespect anybody. You see, we are talking about this, but I did it when I was young. Today, yeah. I'm advising my You children. look back and you feel that, yeah, oh. You know, although my joy is in the kids, 
the problems when you look when you buy business class for this one you have to and you know the problem they are together mm. wherever the they children. are okay. yes they talk to each other so when they are traveling oh i'm going to holidays this this they know the class wow. and they will tell their mother so if they are also leaving you have to buy the business class. Ken, you you have to continue to make a lot of money because you have loads of responsibilities. Oh, yeah. Indeed. Fortunately, mm -hmm. I have about nine of them that have, are doing very well. Very well. Yeah, so now they are out. Because you have a daughter working at Google. You have one right there on Wall Street and all of that. So you're, you're doing then, oh, how many of them? Having two. Wow. Wall Street. Proud father. And... Uh, from Asin Dompim, and you have your children right there, yeah. and you have a beautiful home in, in, in Jersey, right? Congoza. <laughs> <laughs> because we know. But our music center, this is from a musician, and he wants to know what about the music industry? What yeah. is he going to do for us? Yeah, the music industry, you and the, the showbiz. Yes, a movie industry. Well, let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. We need to build fantastic studios over here. What I don't like is, why is it that any good music or show, they have to go and do it in Dubai, yeah. South Africa, London. we are going to do it here. Under your president, yes. you will bring it down. Nice studios. Wow. Nice studios. Let others also come here. Mm. We are human beings. We have to challenge ourselves. We have to challenge ourselves. We need nice studios. Okay? Mm. For nice artists. Correct. You know, when you enter the studio, Mm. Like what you've done oh, yeah, yeah. You, you should be proud of it. Yeah. And you can change it That's for right. the next artist. Mm. So we need beautiful studios over here. And I don't like AJ Mewu, AJ Mewu movies. We will improve on that, their movies. Mm. The ones that you can sell. That's right. You see, the AJ Mewu is here. You are limited to only Ghana. You see, if you don't laugh, I'm serious. I know. I'm telling you. <laughs> Is you see, if you really want to go international, mm. you have to improve on, you know. And what I know, we have to create funding right. fund right. for them. Because to produce a good movie or song, you need a lot of money. You see, my kids came here and they did what? CD or what the uh, CD life, right? Yes, yeah, the reality show, right? Yeah, CD mm -hmm. life. And mm -hmm. this, I've decided to sponsor them because a guy in Houston didn't believe that we have such places in Ghana, they had bad impression about it. so they were shocked to see my girls, you know, what they were doing. That was a good one, mm. okay? So this time, I promised them this Christmas when they come, I'll give them money. That's a lot of money then. Yeah, don't worry. Over hundred thousand dollars. Oh, that's already? peanuts. Okay. What is hundred thousand dollars to Kenya Japan <laughs> to my kids? Exactly. Oh, and we are helping yeah. the industry as well. Yes. So we need to create fund for the industries mm. so that they come out with good production that they can sell outside. If you want good production, I can tell you one. Tell us. You know, uh, no, that, that is why that is why we have you here in the studio. Yeah. The visions, the policies, your you ideas, know. like what? Sarkodie. Okay. No, when you see his videos and the yeah, uh, is he your favorite artist then? I in terms say, of packaging and presentation. Yeah, the packaging and presentation. Mm. You know, that kind of way is Thinking. what we need, we need. Um, to portray Ghana as a developer. Mm -hmm. You know mm -hmm. that we have also arrived. We don't have to always be doing AJ Mewu, AJ Mewu. What kind of way is that? We'll, we'll be closing at night. We're supposed to have done at 8.30, but lots of messages and many are saying that they love this interview. Kennedy and Japan is a maverick indeed. And today I've had a different perception and also mindset about him. I think that people just provoke him and he's a sweet man. I want to be his girlfriend. Hey, and that's from Nancy. Weak. Now you're weak. Now I'm weak. Mm. You see, where I am today, mm -hmm. I don't need any women again. That's right. What I need to do is to effect change in people's life in this country. Mm. Okay, whether you're president yeah, or yeah. not, do you something. want to impact lives. Yes. We'll come to that because we have something that we do on this show. We started on this show, impacting lives and helping others in terms of employment or what you want to do for them. But this one is from Sadiq.
Boniface and he says, please ask him. He's building the biggest cold storage. Will he stop importing frozen chicken and help local farms to supply? Yes. You see, even if you promote local uh, you know, production, right, you need to store them. Mm -hmm. The storage is very, very important. Right. But importing of fish, look, let me tell you the truth. Uh, we are in 2023, right? Mm -hmm. 2021 October to 2022 October, I had imported $30 million fish from Mauritania. $30 million from Mauritania. from Mauritania? Yeah. Now I ask a question. Mm -hmm. Why is it that Ghana here, all the vessels, all the vessels that are, you know, applying the, you know, on our sea, you know, mm -hmm. hold foreign flags with yeah. Ghana A. The catch and they export it even on high seas. Mm. We have a lot of red fish in our seas. And red fish is expensive. But we don't even see it. Mm. And we are importing herrings and all those things in it. My brother, I'll stop a lot you of stop things. stop all of that. Oh, yes. All right. Fred says that in the event that the NDC comes in there, or oh, President Mahama says, I want you, Ken, to be my vice uh, uh, president or presidential <laughs> candidate. Will he accept it? You see, I have a reputation to maintain. I will not sabotage MPP, uh, NDC. Mm. Because if they are there, whatever they do is to the benefit of Ghanaians. I don't have... You see, it don't have to be president or vice president to effect change in people's lives. But where the situation is, we are that's now. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm coming but not say at all costs I have to okay. be vice president. If they ask for my opinion, mm -hmm. now I know they're stealing my ideas. The NDC, they're stealing your ideas. All of them. NDC, MPP. MPP, all of them. Oh. So if they want any advice, I'll give them because mm -hmm. Ghana first. So if President Mahama should call you and say, well, Ken, I, I need you to help me in this area or maybe some counsel. Not you, appointment. Yes. But advice. Mm. Yeah, I will share mine. They brainstorming and they take you on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not? You, will. you see, mm. I've learned a lot in politics. Let me apologize to President Mahama. Oh, you want to take this opportunity to yes. apologize to yes. President Mahama? Yes. On what, please? Yeah, because, you know, because of NDC, MPP, the way he has handled me and the way I have spoken harsh words, you know, I think they have not been fair to Mahama. Wow. He's such a wonderful. To a standard. Mahama, mm. President, former President Mahama, his wife loves me to death. One day, we're in Parliament and President Mahama came. He said, hey, come, my brother, come. You know, the way my, my wife likes you. He said, if I am not alive, the only man in this country that she would love to marry is Kene Japan. Really? I said, wow. Oh, yes. That is how nice this man was to me. And one day, we were on British Airways. I didn't know the wife. The woman kept staring at me from Heathrow. So when we got to VIP, the woman approached me and gave me a phone to talk. Then President Mahama, that time she, he was vice. He started laughing. Oh, you don't even know your wife. That's your wife. Interesting. <laughs> but you went uh, hard on him. Yes, yes I apologize. I'm a human being. You're a human uh, being. But that is uh, great. Uh, uh, I'm yeah. a human being. I think if I recount back you know, my relationship with him and all those, you know, I think that... You want to say to him that you're sorry? Yeah, why not? Yeah. Wow. Interested. So, former President Mahama, that's one for you. And this one is from David. David says that what will be his next line of action if it turns out that he doesn't become the flag bearer of the NPP? Oh, but he answered that. So, uh, said, clearly, David, yes. I'm still an MPP. That's right. Yeah. Right. So, uh, this one says, Bola, he says that the NDC MPP, they are stealing his ideas. He should name one idea that they've stolen. <laughs> you know, yes. You see, I don't want to personalize this, uh, you know. Uh, let's leave it there. Mm -hmm. And you see, he's, uh, whatever can in Japan is saying, uh, they are taking it and they will incorporate it in their All right. policy. Coffee, Coffee Bar says that greetings from the Premier Care Hospital, uh, CEO to my incoming president. So that is going out to you from the Premier Care you know, Hospital CEO. And uh, also from Robert Coleman uh, says that Ghana Gas, uh, 
he's the board chairman and recently he's commissioned something unprecedented an astro theft for Ghana gas and he says congratulations how, how can he say commissioning <laughs> astro theft is unprecedented <laughs> That small thing. Okay. So Robert Coleman, he says that that is a small thing and he's ah. going to do more if it's... Uh, but he says congratulate him for opening that one on behalf of the workers of Ghana Gas. Okay. We're proud of him. I They're accept, happy. I accept that. You accept that? Yeah. Okay. So, but it's, it, it's one of those things. Yeah. I mean, that is not a major thing that you yeah. do. Interested. We have just about some five minutes to hit nine o'clock. And I hear on X, formerly Twitter, it, it, it's just something else the massive following and the love and also questions for you people are saying that they didn't know the other side five of but if you don't get close, close to you how would you know the other side mm. when mm. you get close to me right you see that he's a fine man but ken also from but let me make this statement before you, go. you see the problem i have or the challenge i have in this country is mm. that Ghanaians misconstrue confidence to be arrogance mm. I'm confident. Assertiveness, confidence. Mm. Yes, I'm confident. And they think by being confident. But they send the I'm, insults every time. Insults. Yes. Proverbs 26, verse 4 and 5. I'll mm. see. Mm. You see, they be a, oh, leave him, oh, one of the other Oh, that's how he is. Yeah. Oh, that's how he is. And he continues to do that. So, so if you're not provoked, you also not no, get no, it. No, no, okay. no, no. Why not? At some point, in a, and not all provocations, mm. and sometimes I ignore a lot of things. What they say, but when you continuously do that, then I also go to your level. All right. Then you see the unfairness in this country is whatever people do to me, whatever they say about me, Ghanaians don't hear. They hear only what I say. <laughs> <laughs> you right. know? That is unfair. Yeah, very, very unfair. Okay. Kofi. Uh, Kofi from NS Kevin says that greetings to you, Bolare. Ask him about the double salaries. And also, I can see Kennedy, Japan loves your tie. He kept referring to it. Of course, I mean, it's a great one. No, he knows what time it is. No, you know, I know what time it is. <laughs> Thank you. What would you do to MPs who have taken double salaries if you become president? Let me give you a mm. under my administration. If right. I get it, no. You take, there, there's no chance for you even to take double salaries. Mm. But you know what? To be honest with you, my approach will be Buhari's own. Anybody who feels that he's stolen Ghana's money, mm -hmm. you bring it. And you're not doing anything. Then. Yeah. But if you go after them, hold on. Mm -hmm. We'll give you six months. But if you don't do it, and we do the investigation. 103.5. Star and you are found, bam, 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 you know, you have to face the law. So the first six months, you give them the opportunity. Amnesty. Anybody Amnesty. That, Amnesty. Okay. Amnesty to bring whatever, you know, so that, look, you see, another thing I'm going to stop is, I have a problem in Ghana here. Whatever NDC did, I think MPP should continue it before mm. going to do the same thing elsewhere, mm. especially when it comes to housing. So it's like the house you have yes, I have a problem. Although there have been embezzlement and all those things, they should have brought to an end. They say, you know. And so President Kupati should it. have continued with the yes. sector minister. Yes, yes, mm. yes. Yes. Mm. Honestly, that's my candid opinion. Right. Because you are wasting the money. You have all these properties lying there. And we are now going to set up another day. Right. President could force time to <clears throat> Excuse me. NDC also did the same thing. When they came, instead of finishing President Kufo's they started, they started mm -hmm. their own. That kind of policy we have to stop. You see, continuity is important for us to move this country. Mm -hmm. That does not mean that if the cost of the project is 10 and inflate it to 50, we don't have to deal with you. We'll deal with you, but we'll continue. Continue the project. Yeah, continue the project. If not, right. we have all these uncompleted, scattered, mm. you know. Edumapa on demand service for and a S E M Fan Kaibui and Famao. Edumapa for say and can cab with you for our person be to maybe a wolf ye say Usi dying, so we see see fee, so edumabia wo ye be a dear edumapa for say or mumma wa quenya, no maso was sne and masa die sonu etumiabem. Do be answer about download up on our play store and our app store. 
eho okwa artisans no ene dwomo mu die nyina egu ho dunya dalodu app na ebwa emu hu dwade bi omu die nsa wo pe cleaners ana se cleaning services ana wo pe auto mechanic chesa ade bi e di nipa na ye tireless me kasa me ka ade be chi de obe bo awa na se bo modern dalodu app nsi si amoka se na entumi mu awo so wan tumi dalodu app no so a wo betumi akọ www edumapa.com na ho so so no wotumi ko hu dwuma die nyina sɛ de esitie ɛwɔ hɔ dɔm na ɔsɛ yɛnsa nso nka ma wonya wo ho ntiasɛ sɛ sɛ ne pɛ bɛdi dwuma ma nyina anyɛ sɛ de kɔ hwa pa afobia nam street ne mo yɔ mo a ya yɛ background checks afɔ mo ho police report ne adie nyina ɛwɔ hɔ ntinya de obi bɛ yɔ bukata ana obi bɛ bu afa so afɛ so edumapa fo sɛ ɛsa nsɔ kɔ so jamu kra ɛwɔ military police a ɔno nso kye so gye ne nti ɛ artisans no yɛ dwuma ne sɛ wo supervisors ɔmo so abrɛ na abrɛ nyina no Omo monitor mo activities e hu se bibia e kɔ so pepe pa na na se dwuma pa de e ma be bibia e simple bibi na won ti asɛ so a me fa chɔ no afa numbers dey go screen no so na ye no edi dwuma 